The first reading from Hebrews chapter 8, verses 6 to 13. But now he hath obtained a better ministry, by how much also he is a mediator of the better testament, which is established on better promises. For if that former had been faultless, there should not indeed a place have been sought for a second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the day shall come, saith the Lord, and I will perfect unto the house of Israel, and unto the house of Judah, a new testament. Not according to the testament which I made to their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my testament, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the testament which I will make to the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will give my laws into their mind, and in their heart will I write them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest of them. Because I will be merciful to their iniquities, and their sins I will remember no more. Now in saying anew, he hath made the former old, and that which decayeth and groweth old is near its end. The word of the Lord. Your response, thanks be to God. For the responsorial psalm, Psalms 85, 8 and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Your response, kindness and truth shall meet. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy, and grant us thy salvation. Surely his salvation is near to them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Your response, kindness, and truth shall meet. Mercy and truth have met each other, justice and peace have kissed. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and justice hath looked down from heaven. Your response, kindness, and truth shall meet. For the Lord will give goodness, and our earth shall yield her fruit. Justice shall walk before him, and shall set his steps in the way. Your response, kindness, and truth shall meet. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Mark chapter 3, 13, 19. And going up into a mountain, he called unto him whom he would himself, and they came to him. And he made that twelve should be with him, and that he might send them to preach. And he gave them power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out devils. And to Simon he gave the name Peter, and James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, and he named the Bonerges, which is, the sons of thunder. And Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Canadian, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. 